Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. This video is a crash course where I will provide uh, you an overview on how anyone can get started with the uh, experience cloud. So let's understand what is an experience cloud, why do you need an experience cloud and what and all are the various topics that we have covered in our experience cloud. I will walk you through all those topics um, uh, what I have covered in my SFDC One Stop YouTube channel. So let's understand what is an experience cloud. Experience cloud is a digital platform which helps our companies to collaborate with our customers. You can collaborate with your partners, internal employees, internal users who are very key to our business. business. So it, you can consider this experience cloud or community cloud as a social platform using which our companies can interact with our customers. They can interact with your partners. You can collaborate with them by sharing the data, sharing the files to both the internal users as well as your external uh, users. So using this experience cloud, it helps you to create multiple communities within your organization for different purposes. It could be you can create a site uh, for an upcoming event. You can create an experience uh, cloud for, um, which will support your customer community. You can create an experience cloud which will support your partner community. Likewise, you can also create a guest community portal who can log in into your portal, you know, into your site without any username and password. Experience cloud is built on a customer 360 platform wherein it helps you to collaborate uh, with them, with your partners and customers in real time and you can interact with them from anywhere. So you can design this experience cloud or you can also call it as a customer cloud in such a way that it will help to provide seamless experience to your customers or your partners. You can do a lot of different enhancements based upon your business need and you can provide a greater look and feel by branding the site as per your customer or as per your partner or employee need. One of the example of the experience cloud is we can take an example of our own uh, of our own Trailblazer community. The Trailblazer community is designed in such a way that you can interact with various people across the world, right? So that is the greatest example that we can take for the experience cloud. So the major advantages of building or using this experience cloud is you can interact with uh, your customers, you can interact with your partners, collaborate with them um, and get to know what are their needs. And you can also share the data, share the files with them as and when needed according to your business requirement. There are different types of communities um, we have discussed in detail. We have customer community, we have partner community, we have guest community, employee community. So according to your business need, you can create the communities and you can build the community in such a way that you, will in, you can interact with your customers or your partners or any kind of internal users. There are different ways. I mean, in order to enable the community, first you have to and first you have to go ahead and enable the community. Then also you have to ensure that you are enabling the domain. So domain name is very important. That is one thing. And then you have to enable your communities. So let me walk you through in detail what and all are the various topics that I have covered in our channel SFDC One Stop that will give you an overview of how you can relate and how you can get started with the experience cloud. So I have a detailed explanation in our LinkedIn. Here uh, we have this LinkedIn SFDC One Stop. So you can go through this specific LinkedIn page, SFDC One Stop, wherein I have explained in detail uh, what and all of the various topics that I have covered and uh, in what sequential order you can go through it. So here you can see the first is experience uh, salesforce a community cloud or experience cloud session one in this particular session we have kick started on what is a community cloud why do you need a community cloud different types of communities then uh, we also discussed when we can use the partner community when you can use the customer guest community what and all are the advantages of using the community how one can enable the community from the scratch then we went ahead and created a new community. We have chosen the template based upon whatever is provided by default, like, you know, customer service or Ola, uh, Aloha, whatever the templates that is provided. 
use it from the existing templates then we started we covered the builder and the administration part then on the high level we also talked about the login and the registration how one can activate the community then on the salesforce side how you can create an external user for the customer community and um, then once the external user is enabled you you have the contact and how that specific contact can go ahead and login into the customer community so likewise there are a lot of different things which is covered in this session 1 you can go through this session 1 i will also navigate you to my fdc one, uh, one stop channel once i covered uh, the topics in detail the second topic that i have covered is the salesforce community cloud it is mainly related to the community builder so in this uh, session we have covered in detail how you can build a community page as per your business requirement like if you have to do some kind of a branding how can you do that in your using your community builder how can you create a theme uh, there are different headers hero header set max page limit what color you can choose what is the image that you can provide all of these is something which we have discussed in our community cloud then we went ahead and added certain uh, components as per your business need you can have lot of different components which are available that those are the standard components suppose in your organization you are creating your own lightning components those are that specific lightning components can also be drag and drop and you can build your community page as per your business need then we perform the end to end testing by logging in as that specific customer and verify how the page will looks likes to the end customer so these two topics mainly covers the community uh, customer community session 1 and session 2 then we also a uh, cover the partner community how you can enable a uh, user as a partner how you can enable the account as a partner community and how uh, that's how an uh, how a contact can log in as a experience um, a user so we this is if you wanted to understand in detail about the partner community you can go through this specific session salesforce partner community experience cloud session 1 so as stated here we have covered in detail about the com- partner community major difference between the partner and the community customer community create an account and enable it as a partner account create a contact and enable that contact as a partner user create a partner community using the community builder then we logged in as the community external user and see how our partner community page or partner community site looks to the external uh, users once you are done with this specific session then you have another session wherein we have covered in detail using the community builder we have added the tabs we have added the dashboards uh, you know record list and a um, couple of announcements were done to the experience the partner community page you can go through this uh, video uh, to get more understanding on how one can build a partner community uh, end to end like uh, you know drag and drop the components and then design your page um, uh, ui and um, user experience according to your business need we also covered this is also one of the very important topic we also covered the knowledge management so in this specific session knowledge management we have discussed in detail what is knowledge management how to add the knowledge to the experience cloud we use the guest community user here guest community user is nothing but you it is an unauthenticated portal wherein it is not needed for the user to provide a username and password just with the url and they can log in into the guest community they can log in into the community site we have enabled the knowledge lightning we have made lot of different changes how uh, how can you make a knowledge article visible to the customer or visible to the partner that we have seen it in the specific session then we have used the knowledge articles you know the experience con- cloud builder content management navigation topics uh, and created featured topics so this video session is mainly concentrating on how one can enable the knowledge on your experience cloud whether it could be the partner community customer community or the guest communities you can refer the specific video then if you wanted to generate a lead how that is something which is possible using the experience cloud we have covered uh, in this specific session that is session number 6 then in the session 7 that is related to the instant bot i have been talking more about how one can 
um, uh, provide seamless customer service to your customers or your partners, right? So that is something using uh, using the digital engagement uh, program that is um, enabling the instant bot live chat. We have uh, used the instant bot functionality over here and enabled it on the customer community. How instant bot help to resolve the queries? How can you enable the instant bot? And various other topics were covered in this customer community instant bot session. And there is another video which mainly talks about the language selector. Nowadays, uh, you have to ensure that you are supporting your customers or partners with various different languages, right? Since we are globally organized, globally uh, present, you also have to ensure that your page is um, supported in different languages. So this specific video mainly concentrated concentrate on how you can make use of this language uh, selector. If you wanted to use the existing language selector that is a standard language selector, you can make use of that. If not, according to your use case, you can build a lightning component and add that lightning component onto your community site or a experience site. Here, in this specific topic, this is mainly related to the audience assignment or the page variations. Audience assignment is, it is not really needed for you to go in and build a lot of different pages, right? A lot of different community sites. So being on the same community site or the experience site, whether it is the partner community or the customer community, you can make use of the audience assignment or the page variations using which certain set of users, you can make the page available to certain set of users. Uh, you know, according to your business need, if geographical region, suppose United States, this particular page should be visible to only to USA. You can make that possible using the audience assignment. And if you have another page, same page, if you are making some other changes, that specific component will only be visible to the other set of groups of people. That That is something which you can do it using the audience assignment or the page variations. Then I have briefly talked about how you one can enable the guest community. Here we have um, um, small, small announcements we covered in this particular session called as an experience cloud uh, guest community. Then uh, these are other topics uh, related to experience cloud wherein we have used, made use of the tile, what is a navigation menu and um, uh, you know how you can go ahead and add the object site pages or events using the navigation menu. This is another uh, section which is mainly related to the login and the registration page. So in this specific login and registration page, we have discussed um, how one can receive the login email confirmation, the change password. If you wanted to use the standard components, that is something out of the box, you can uh, make use of it. If you wanted to change it, then you may have to create your own visual force pages and then you can uh, make changes to your login or the registration. So these are a couple of sessions that we covered um, in our SFDC One Stop YouTube channel. So let me navigate you to my SFDC One Stop YouTube channel wherein these and all other different uh, sessions that I just walk you through, it's all present over here. Session one, session two, partner community session one. Then you have knowledge management, language selector, partner community session two, how one can generate lead using the experience cloud, if you wanted to do any kind of login and registration modifications, how you can do that and a lot of other different assignment, different uh, sessions, uh, different topics were covered in this um, uh, channel. So you can go through our SFDC One Stop YouTube channel, navigate to um, uh, the playlist and then you can go to how one can get started with the experience cloud. So that's all we have for today's session. I hope this session will help some of you to understand how one can get started with the experience cloud and relate all of our videos we have it in our SFDC One Stop YouTube channel. Until then, please do take care of yourself. Signing off, yours, Namrata Kariala. Bye-bye.